Man, we're done with camp. It's TCU week, brother. We got a game on Saturday. How hyped are you, first off? You know, I thought I was hyped. I thought I was there. But you just took me to a whole nother level. You took me from the flat irons all the way to the top of the Rockies. <laughs> I love the energy, Jake. It is game week, finally. Can't we're here. wait, man. We talked to Coach Prime today. We'll get to that here in a bit. What happened at practice today? What can you tell us? You know, one thing I got to do is wave at Smitty. I'm going to see if he's looking. <laughs> like, in the middle of our thing, Smitty is not looking at me. No. I just love I love when Smitty is, like, in the backdrop or something. Yeah. There. He's my guy. <laughs> Little Easter egg, right? Yeah. <laughs> Smitty is the Marvel Universe MCU Easter egg. You got to, you know, he, he's Stan Lee. You know, mm -hmm. He's going to be a player character. So, practice today, man, once again, energy off the charts. Look at this great weather. Amazing. Yesterday, we were inside. Today, we were outside uh, up top at Franklin. Right name, right? Mm -hmm. Did I get it yeah, right? Yeah, Franklin. you got it. Yep. I always call it upstairs. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, say, mean, I say downstairs, sure. inside, upstairs. <laughs> Today we were upstairs on Franklin. A lot of good energy, a lot of good emotion. You know, Warren Sapp was back at practice mm -hmm. today. So, of course, the D-line, you know, was showing out for him doing their thing. Great energy, man. Tuesday of game week. Love to hear it, man. You said yesterday we were practicing in the indoor, though, trying to get prepared a bit for what we're going to face weather-wise at TCU. You know, it's, a, it's always amazing to me. People think an indoor facility, you know, is like taking it light. Right. Man, it gets humid in there. Mm -hmm. You close those doors, cut the heat on a little bit, it gets humid in there. So it was a hot day uh, inside practice, man, almost like a sauna in there. Uh, so good workout. You know, Coach Prime touched on it uh, in his presser today, man. You know, the heat is what it is. It's going to be 100 degrees. You know, uh, the sun is going to be out. We're going to sweat. We're going to bang. It, it just is what it is. So you have to kind of use other things. You know, they don't practice at the altitude we practice right. at. So the heat is going to be there for both, but we should be in a little better condition. Well, what Trevor, we talked to Trevor Woods today after practice too, and what he said was, I mean, he's from Texas. They got kids from all over the south, all over from Texas. Like, they're kind of used to it. So it's about, you know, once they get into it and, you know, realize they're in that Texas heat, yeah. I feel like they'll adjust to it for, uh, pretty well at least. I, I agree. You know, but now is the time to be hydrating. You know, last week was the time to be hydrated. Right. Uh, so Mo has the guys, Coach Mo, strength and conditioning, has the guys hitting the fluids. Coach Prime has the sign in the cafeteria, you know, water Gatorade only for players. So that's the key is to be prepared, you know, for the environment, and the guys are doing that. Yeah. We talked to Coach Prime after practice. Man, another just A++ press conference from him. Uh, he t spoke about Tyler Brown, really yeah. kind of – Spoke on how he's doing, said he's doing well. He's going to have the resources he needs here, but obviously very disappointed in the decision from the NCAA. Yeah, it's impactful, man. And, and, and Coach Prime was speaking more so from a father standpoint versus a coach losing an offensive lineman. Don't get me wrong, need Tyler Brown, would love to have him. But are more concerned about Tyler Brown, the individual, the person, the student athlete, the son, uh, and the impact that this could have on him. And, you know, wasn't shy about it. Believe the NCAA got it wrong, that he should have been approved to play. Absolutely. We talk a lot about this defensive line, and that's what everyone around the nation talks about. Do they have the depth? Coach Prime said today he's got multiple guys he thinks that can get double-digit sacks, and he straight up called Shane Cox a pro. If you watch this program, if you watch DMVR, if you watch the pregame show, you've heard Neely since April talk about the defensive line. I'm not worried. You know, just like Coach Prime talked about the running backs, he sleep well at night. I sleep well at night with our defensive linemen. I believe in them. I believe these guys can stop the run. I believe they can disrupt the quarterback. I believe they're going to have the right impact we need on this game. Love to hear it, man. Another thing we learned, it sounds like Miles Slusher going to be starting in that star slot position for this defense. What have you seen from him over the last few weeks? Effort, energy. Uh, he's grasped the playbook. You know, let me, let me just put this in, in simple terms. Uh, Charles Kelly defense is complicated. Mm -hmm. You know, it ain't easy. You don't just run out there and run that defense. And, and Slusher, man, has, uh, has been doing his thing all, all season long. And the depth chart has not been publicly released yet, but Coach Prime did indicate, oh, no, that's going to be Slusher's that position. Love to hear it, man. We got a ton more game week content. You're going to be in Denver tomorrow for Yeah, we're show. doing a show tomorrow. We're doing uh, in Dallas together, yes, I guess, sir. twice, pregame and postgame. Man. A lot of stuff coming, man. Can't wait, brother. Man, Again, we're coming. it's game week. Get <laughs> well, hyped, baby. One more time, one more time. It's game week. Let's go. <laughs> I love it, Jake. And the Let's go. See you guys soon. Bam.